Superficially, we have a plantar aponeurosis. Uh, we can see distally it splits into individual digital slips. If you were to see horizontal fibers going between those, that would be the superficial transverse metatarsal ligament. Let's pull that out of the way. Looking at our musculature, we can see the first layer here. We have a large tendon, large muscle on the medial and plantar side of the foot. That's the abductor hallucis. If we go into the midsection of the foot, we have a superficial muscle called the flexor digitorum brevis. We should see roughly four tendons going to the digits two through five. As we go to the most lateral side of the foot, we can actually see a good sized tendon here going to the little toe. So this is gonna be abductor digiti minimi. We have quite a bit of muscle here. It comes back here, gets very broad in the posterior portion of the foot. As we go uh, looking at neurovasculature, we can see the lateral plantar nerve and artery coursing across the foot here. The medial plantar nerve and artery stays more in line with the big toe. As we uh, approach the, the digits, we can actually see that uh, these nerves will split into common digital nerves. And as we approach the toe, we can see that those split into proper digital nerves that go to adjacent sides of toes. Going a little bit deeper, we can see the lateral plantar nerve and artery cross over the surface of the quadratus planti. The quadratus planti is very much hind and midfoot position. It inserts on the flexor uh, digitorum longus tendon. The flexor digitorum longus tendon also splits out into four digit digital uh, slips, and we can see relative to those lumbrical muscles. This one has three lumbrical muscles well exposed. As we come over to the big toe, we can see there's a large tendon going to the big toe. That's the flexor hallucis longus tendon. If we were to put that tendon in place, we would actually see a medial and lateral heads of the uh, flexor hallucis brevis. Embedded in those muscle tendons as they approach the MP joint are sesamoid bones. These are not really seen, uh, but more just perceived. If we go uh, deep to the uh, lumbricals and the quadratus planti, pulling those back, we can see a pretty robust muscle here, the oblique head of adductor hallucis. I've transected this one to go deep in a moment. And there's also a transverse head coming horizontally near the meta, uh, metatarsal phalangeal joints. If we come over to the pinky toe again, we have our abductor again. Just adjacent is a flexor, digiti minimi. And just adjacent to that, people misinterpret these three muscles along here. The third muscle in is going to be the a plantar uh, interosseous muscle, or really the third one. This comes out very superficial. We think, uh, think about the foot having a nice transverse arch from side to side. That puts this fifth metatarsal out here very superficial. So we come across the plantar interosseous. We will not do tagging of dorsal interossei within the foot. If we pull the oblique head of the, of the adductor hallucis off to the side and we follow our lateral plantar artery in, we can see the formation of the deep plantar, or deep plantar arch, or just plantar arch. It's coming, artery coming across deep to the oblique head of the adductor hallucis. Adjacent to that falling nerve down is the deep branch of the lateral plantar nerve. Okay, a deep plantar artery we will, not, we will not see, but that's the termination of the arch there where it anastomoses with the dorsal, dorsalis pedis of the dorsum of the foot. GoPro stop.